Like I said, Shawshank Redemption, get busy drinking or get busy dying. It might have worded it a little bit different. Can't, wait. It, Can't wait for that. How's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Let me pop the cork off of this. Boom. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking. <laughs> for Pete's sake, Jean. Well, for Pete's sake. Today we're going to do what's called a smoky and peaty, for Pete's sake, scotch whiskey for you. Yes. Uh, this is a 40 ABV. 40? Okay. 40 ABV, 100 or 80 proof. Be nice for 100 proof, but 80 proof. Uh, it's got a screw cap. So you know it's not gonna break the cork. Uh, I am I have unique expectations of this simply because they're calling themselves out. Uh, we got our shirts on in preparation for them to be PD. Well, that's Pete. That's Pete, folks. Um, if you call yourself something, I expect you to be something. I'm not smelling the Pete like I would on an Arbeg or a Lafroyd in my glass underneath my nose. What are you getting on the nose there? So I know that there's peat, but it's a soft peat. It's not like a, it's not a uh, mm. punch you in the face, uh, can't take it, Lafroy band aid nasty peat, but. Um, Barbecue lace potato chips. It's not bad. I mean, for a screw top, I'm not, I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it either. I had, I had really low expectations, but I get the peats there. I get barbecue lace potato chips. So. I'm just going to tell a story. We, my, our friend of ours likes to take us to this bar that we do not like. And we went there last night for a, a holiday party. Um, and they didn't have a lot on, on their selection. It's, it's not a whiskey bar. It's, I'll just say it's not a whiskey bar. If, I mean, the stuff that they had was, was okay. I mean, the selections that they had was okay, but way overpriced. You're leaving out an important part. You can only order on the apps. Yes. Stupid. Sit in the store, they have bartenders, they have wait staff, they will not take your order, you have to do it on the app. So it forces you, it compels you, Gene, to sit around a table with people who are all looking down on their phones. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm ordering. Oh, okay. Hey, Gene, do I tell you about the one thing? Hey, Gene, Gene. So, I'm ordering. <sighs> yes. Anyway, you get, yeah, it. It you get it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so. My, where I was going with that is I ended up ordering a Jameson, which, you know, Jameson's fine, I like it. Um, but as, as far as the price per, what I was thinking, what you could get for uh, whiskey, that was the lowest. ABV? Um, well, the lowest price. Lowest shelf? It was $8 for Ball. what you were paying, $10 for, which, whatever. I had Balvini double one. Yes. I had a double shot of Jameson for eight dollars. I had one ounce of Double for ten dollars. I had twenty ounces or two ounces. Sorry, two ounces. Twenty ounces would have been a fun night. What's your point? My point is, if this was on the menu, my point is this: if if this was on the menu, I would have ordered it as based on the nose. Now I'm getting. That was a long freaking point that I rambled on to not you know get what? to the point. You pulled yourself a Charlie, and I'm here for it. I'm digging it. Hold yourself, Charlie. Yeah. I can't. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll see more of those. But normally, those rants will be by me. Most all of them. I'm getting like that Vicks vapor rub now. Are when you? You're, when you're seven years old, your mom was rubbing that on your chest because you're like, sick. Like the barbecue chips. Yeah. I'm getting barbecue chips. I'm getting light peat. Light I get peat. Some, I get some of those light fruits underneath the peat, like a smoky peril, pear, peril. Per, oh the, boy. The, the whiskey here is in peril because we're going to consume it. So yeah, it's in peril. You, you know that. Fact, I'm going in. I'm going. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of maritime now. A little bit of salt. A little bit of brine. Um, this is by Distilled Mature, blended and bottled in Scotland, Angus Dundee Distillers. There you go. So it's a forty. And here comes my expectation. <laughs> so I, I get water and and a hint of peat. Smooth though. I mean, it's it's smooth. But the flavors, I wish there were more flavors. So I get a bit of iodine, a bit of peat. And here, Gene, if you're looking for some last minute Christmas gifts from your husband, I forget what it's called. You probably know, I don't remember. There is the device that we can own. I think they even sell it on Amazon. That will tell you, you can use a device at home to tell you. What are you doing? I'm just letting you know. In case last minute, you know, Christmas stocking stuffers. Oh, it's a device. I'm supposed to get a hint right now. 
Yeah, but you're not getting the hit. Wasn't picking up on that. Um, it's a device you can use at home to measure ABV in any liquor. Oh. Um, I would use that on this because I don't think this is a 40. I think it's under a 40. Obviously, it's not. Otherwise, it's a non-age stated. It's from Scallon. They say it's from Scallon, so we know it's at least three years old. It's a 40. I'm sure they think. I'm sure that's a 40. I would actually measure this so it comes across like a 38. I don't want to add water to this. No. Um, they already did. It's okay. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apologize. I'm gonna skip the adding water part. Um, no. You know what? I, I'm gonna add water. Oh, she's gonna do it, folks. I'm gonna add water. Cause you know maybe it'll bring out something. You know? You know? On my second sip, I just had. Why'd you hand this to me for? In case you wanted to. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to actually. I'm gonna stay my ground, folks. Stay you know what? Ground. I'm gonna stay my ground. All right. Uh, second sip. I think that was my second. Could have been third. Not bad, actually. Um, the the vapor rub's gone, and now it's a, a sweet, smoky, 40 ABV, three-year-old scotch. Um, smokes a two on a ten scale, maybe a one on a ten scale. Got a nice sweet after flavor or after yeah. flavor finish. Finish. It's got it's got that sweet barbecue potato chip, but it's not. It's 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 the off brand. It's the off-brand oh. barbecue potato chip. Okay. You know how the you you get the name brand. There's lots of powder on that on that potato chip, and you're like, oh, there's, this is full of flavor. This is more potato chip with like a little bit of sprinkles. You're like, okay, okay, I can tell that the flavor's there, but um, it's just kind of regular potato chip. Gina, I don't mean to embarrass you, but this right here says it has a tense flavor. Tips. I don't mean to embarrass you, Gene. Oh, I'm not. Uh, this is a blended scotch, if I didn't say that earlier. Um, I'm ready to score it. Okay. You ready to score it? I'm scoring it. You're going to have a score? Scoring it. Um, I'm curious to see what you paid for this. Um, screw top. It's a three-year-old scotch. It's a 40. They call themselves for Pete's sake. So the flavor is not bad. I mean, yeah. the flavor is not yeah. off-putting. It's not like something that I want to spit out my mouth. It's something that, okay, they're trying. Um, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, 83, what'd you do? 83, look at you. She's a week, look yeah. at us. Boom. It's like we're married or something, boom. Nice. I would. I started doing 84, I'm like, it doesn't quite hit an 84 for me. It, it's, uh, it doesn't even meet expectations. Um, we have some screw caps that are great. Yes. That are phenomenal. Right. This is not one of them. What'd you pay for? $16. Sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars. Um, does it say no added color? Because it makes me think that they did. Um, I would not buy this again if it were free. <laughs> you wouldn't buy it again no. if it were free. If it was free, you know, like sometimes uh, I one time went to a grocery store. And they said, "Hey, here's a coupon for free barbecue sauce." Cool, I'll try it. Tried it. Didn't like it. Here's a coupon for the free barbecue sauce. The same one. Next time I went in, didn't take the free coupon. Okay, I get it. <coughs> Uh, free alcohol is free alcohol. I would, I would, if it were free, I'd take it. I wouldn't. It's just not for me. Um, if I bought, got this at a whiskey bar and I paid five dollars for a one ounce pour, I'm not hating life. Okay, here's, I'm not here's, hating here's life. what I'm going to tell you though. If you um, are new to Pete, if you are afraid to get mm -hmm. Pete and you don't want to spend the price on Pete, this is a very cheap entry into Pete. You can at least taste yeah. what Pete is. If you've been afraid yeah. to try it, this would be something. It, it's cheap. You could get the Pete flavor. Mm -hmm. You you know that you can say, oh, I get what Pete is. You know, you, you can still taste the Pete. It's just really uh, watered down. Gee, that is a great point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to back step a little bit on my, on my review. I don't mean to be too harsh on this, but as you nailed it. When we first started drinking whiskey, we wanted nothing to do with Pete because Pete was stupid and it sucked. Uh, this is a great intro bottle if you don't like Pete. You're 100% correct on there. I'm a backpedal what I said. You're not gonna. You're not breaking your bank. You're, you know, yeah. 16 bucks. Uh, We've had some whiskeys of late that were White Dog Ford, and we like. I like White Dog more than you do, but I didn't like it, and it cost a lot more than 16 dollars. I'm still sitting here drinking it with no problem. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I knew I'm bump it up. I'm gonna give it an 84. I'm gonna bump it up because I'm, I'm still drinking it and I'm not hating it. Not, yeah, it, like I said, I could probably drink this and still drive home and feel fine about it. We, we're not gonna do that because we're already home. We're not doing that. No, you're okay. right. Uh, anything we're to add? We're gonna test that. 
No. No, we're not. No. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are.